Ladies and gentlemen, in particular, I wish to register my sincere appreciation to FAO for extending the much needed technical and financial resources for development of the fishery sector master plan and the national plan of action. Further, it is my heartfelt appreciation to all other development partners, public sector, the private sector also, and the multitudes of fishers and aqua farmers for their inputs and generous contributions which made this fishery sector master plan and the national plan of action possible. This support is crucial towards unlocking great potential of Tanzania for developing vibrant fisheries sector in both inland and marine waters. Ladies and gentlemen, we all know that Tanzania is well endowed with abundant water resources comprised of 61,500 square kilometers of inland waters equivalent to 6.5% of the total land mass comprised of lakes, including a sizable share of the African Great Lakes of Victoria, Tanganyika and Nyasa, rivers, dams, and wetlands. There is also 64,000 square kilometers of territorial marine waters, 223 thousand square kilometers of exclusive economic zone and 1424 kilometers long coastline. The water resources offer tremendous opportunities for fisheries and aquaculture activities for improved livelihoods, increased incomes, employment opportunities, food security and nutrition and economic growth. It is important to note that about 95% of the production is attributed to small-scale farmers and aqua farmers, and therefore the sector plays an important role in the livelihoods of ordinary Tanzanians. The sector also plays an important role in food security and nutrition, whereby fish and fisheries products amount to 30% of animal protein intake. Ladies and gentlemen, despite its potential and uh, socio-economic importance, small-scale farmers and aqua farmers continue to face several challenges which limit their ability to utilize the existing potential. Ladies and gentlemen, the government is implementing several strategies and plans to overcome the mentioned challenges. These efforts aim to increase fisheries and aquaculture investment, improve the fisheries and aquaculture infrastructure, such as fish landing sites, fish market and hatcheries, and improve the fish marketing and trade in fish and fisher products at both local and the international markets. For example, in the financial year 2022-2023, the government is going to avail 30.9 billion Tanzanian shillings as interest-free loans through Tanzania Agricultural Development Bank to enable small-scale farmers and aqua farmers to obtain modern fishing boats and inputs for cage fishing farming and seaweed farming. 